Hi guys, Chuck Hamilton with the Warburg Planting Lights and another pilot product spotlight. Today I'm with my buddy Captain Chris Mayer. <laughs> uh, hey, and we're here in Owen Town, uh, Minnesota, for one of my favorite events of the year. Hands down, the flying's a great part of Epic Field. Tim Johnson owns a beautiful piece of property with a great museum by us, but it's about the people. And this is the big reason why I come to the event. Today, on this video, I want to talk about two things. Uh, first, the event, um, and then also about the sneezing off of 16 that we see here. So, Chris, thank you. Talk about one time. Yeah, let's talk about it. How did this all start? What was the spark plug for this event? Well, you know, it, it dates back to 2002. So, this is our 19th year. Congratulations. You know, we've got a big contingent of models. We're you do. fanatics. You are. Yeah. And that's why, I love, that's why I love coming here, because you guys are builders. <laughs> you guys build stuff. It's not just building the winter. You guys are building on the fence with the yes. You know, and just, yeah. I just love you guys for this. This is fantastic in what we do here. But we're wired a little different. You they, some may call us a little fancy, but uh, hey, we're passionate I want to be part of that DNA. <laughs> we do love to build. Okay. And, uh, we love to get together with this right. This is, this is uh, something that we and I personally look forward to every year. And uh, getting back to your question, what was the spark? Uh, the spark was everybody doing getting everybody together. It started out pretty small, and now it's, it's grown to you know, 100 to 125 pilots every year, taking last year out of the picture. Um, just, just providing a very laid back atmosphere. One of the nicest fields Absolutely. Really around anywhere. Right. Um, just to get together and have a, have a good social uh, time together and talk airplanes and whatever else. And you know, the flying is, is secondary. Yeah. You know? and that's that's the icing on the cake. Absolutely. But Absolutely. the real meat of, of this event is just the social aspect. And this, this is this, this here. It's still a, it's a club. This is a it is. considered a club. Yeah, this is our club. And what's amazing, and maybe Andy will shoot some roll phone. You guys actually have storage sheds on property where you keep your aircraft. So it's not like you load up your truck, go to flying field. You open a door and you roll it out. Yeah. That's just yeah. That, I've, got, that, I've got a garage that I rent from Tim. Yeah. It's twenty five percent of the garage and has its own big door, eight foot door, and I keep most of my stuff out there. I just drive in the field. Oh, I can I leave my house idea. and in 30 minutes I can be in the air. I love that idea. It's pretty cool. I love that idea. So the event, um, like it is a club, and man, uh, obviously you're wearing your uh, Solar Minnesota Modeler. Southern Minnesota Model Aircraft. Right. And you, you guys, you got a lot of club support here. And I, that's one thing I noticed about you guys. I know I do the Goshen event, it's pretty much RJ9, a great group of volunteers. But you've got a lot of hands on deck here. Yeah, we, we are very fortunate, very blessed. We've got Vern here who's been running the registration desk and, and just a whole host of people that are just volunteering all the time, uh, helping out with uh, everything that needs to be done. As you know, I yeah. mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind right. the scenes that pilots don't see, but expect. Yeah. And we're all out here working together as a team to to accomplish those tasks. And a nice thing too, and this is kind of when we did all the other events, like when I was choosing the event to hold with, you're 10 minutes from everything you want. Yet you're out in the country, obviously, where most flying fields are, near cornfields, because that's where <laughs> we, we get our property from. But, yep. uh, but 10 minutes, and you are here in downtown. You're in downtown, old town, hotels, restaurants. But what's really, what I find so amazing with you guys here, is why at 5, 6 o'clock, people get tired, they go out to dinner, sometimes they come back. I haven't left this field till midnight. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Yeah, and it's because uh, <laughs> we just sit around and we cook and we laugh, and yes. it's just, it's amazing. And that's what I wanted to, to express in this video with you guys, is the, like, the flying part is a huge part of it. It's just an epic group of guys here in Owen Town. It really is. From the modeling side to the friendship side to the, the, the dinners afterwards, everybody's throwing some potluck in and, and it just creates an a, a, a awesome, awesome event. And it's but it's not, just, it's not just our members, though. I mean, hours that come in and we put on these lunches every day and, you know, we're all working together as a team and it's fun to have that collaboration, right? I mean, just that, it's just, it feels good. Yeah. And that's what we're striving for. We want everybody to feel good, we want this event laid back, and we it want is. 
to you to wait 30 minutes to fly your airplane. Right. You know, if you're waiting five, you're waiting too long. Yeah. yeah. So the flight lines. And that's on us. That's our job to make that happen. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So, uh, all right. Now well, let's talk about this epic episode. Yeah. Year one for this baby, right? Right? You two, two. This is year two. Year and this is a. Two. This is a one six scale BBM F sixteen. Uh, it's powered by a uh, King Tech one sixty okay. G two. Uh, it's three point three liters of fuel, and then it's also got uh, two tanks of uh, for smoke. Yep. Uh, that uh, gives me about two point two, which is just about the right amount for okay. for a good flight demonstration with smoke. Um, you burn Caro or do you burn diesel? I burn Jet A. You burn Jet A. I burn Jet A. Yeah. Imagine that. Could you burn Jet A in your full time job? <laughs> yes, I do. But that's not the reason I run right. Jet A. For one, it's easily accessible. For right. two, this is a turbine engine, I believe, and turbine engine. I agree. And the technology, what are you flying with? So I've got this on my Grafner MZ32. Okay. Which you've been flying Grafner for five years now? Four years? No, I Next. switched over from high tech when I needed more channels. Okay. And I needed to right. Something more. you could grow into. Yeah. 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 And so I love I love the radio system, and but you know it's it's got the upgraded uh, BBM servos in it. Uh, they're all Savox. Yep. Uh, just BBM branded. Um, 450 ounce servos. It's got a uh, power box competition for power distribution, which I absolutely love. Uh, it really helps to elevate the level of confidence in the delivery to these. And servos. I personally feel it's one of the most underrated products out there. You, you might be right. Because, it, because once you get that, that power safe technology, you're like, why did I fly what I did with that? Right. Especially when you get into larger, more complex. Yes. You know, with servos that are pulling 450 ounces, there's yeah. a lot of electrons. There's a lot that of things. Being pushed. A lot of things happening. You want to have a reliable power supply system. And an airplane like this, it deserves that. Not only that, but it, I think it needs something. Yeah. So, uh, there's that in there. There's telemetry, uh, King Tech telemetry uh, that feeds back to the receiver and to the transmitter. I can view all of that, fuel flow, temperature, just like you would on, on the GSU, so all that's available to the transmitter, which is pretty cool. And it'll give me a low fuel warning. And I've got 17 ounces of fuel. Oh, wow. That's time to get it. You said it's going to be outside. I've seen, seen you fly, which is just amazing. You know, it's, it's my favorite airplane. I can tell. I'm not going to lie. I can tell. <laughs> but it's got such a great presence. I do have an iGyro 3 Extra in there, which does an amazing job of damping out any turbulence. And it just it flies very, very smooth. But we're going to touch on this. You know, a lot of guys, the whole myth out there about gyros yeah. is, uh, you know, they're flying the airplane for you. No, absolutely not. What they do do, and this is where you got to really get the point across, is they make the windy days. It just takes the wind away. It does. Yeah, yeah. and that's it what they do. removes it. Yeah. Just yeah. ask them. Well, hey, thanks, buddy. I really Thank appreciate you. you doing this for us. Appreciate you coming um, out here. Yeah, and I, I love it. I'll always be back. You know that. Uh, but uh, thank you for doing this video. Uh, once again, Chuck Hamilton, Chris Mayer, Owatano on his BBM F-16. See ya.